Okay. What? That boy got a puppy. Oh my God. I said he bought a puppy to don't blink. Yeah, he bought a puppy to don't blink. Yeah, he bought a puppy to don't blink. Yeah, he bought a puppy to don't blink. Sporting touch of hands. Round number one. There's that fast start. I'm a new born in the Bronx, raising data. Been in the city since Pit had braids. But hop on the parties, but I know how to sneak me out. Now it's seven figure meetings every day. We need a house. It's game time, the game's mine. You know the vibe. Yo, yeah, how a new and dead or repping 305. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Don't Blink Podcast. Yes. As always. The kid is on my right hand side. We out here in the building. I survived. We survived Christmas. It was amazing. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Comí mucho. Yeah. I got gifts. I did all that. Yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. I and, did all that. And now all right. what we got right now, champ. Right. Well, we're kidding. It's not Christmas yet, but when you see this, Christmas has passed. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I got confused at first, too. But I feel you. Yeah, this freestyle yeah, right yeah, there, yeah, baby. Yeah. Hey, we got my little brother in the building. Yes, sir. Fames. Fames in the house, baby. Only wow. fames in the building. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, like, I was listening the other day. I was talking about you. And uh, I was like, bro, I don't even follow him on Instagram no more because he changes his name every other day. Yeah. So I'm like, All right, I'm going to wait till he got a solid one that I'll hit the follow button. Yo, it's been <laughs> solid. It's been solid for like six months now. Has it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, six no, months. Yeah. Okay, six, six months. months. That's, that's chilling. chilling. Hey, that's, that's, his, chilling. that's his longest relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I like that. What's up, dog? Good to see you, man. Chilling, bro. I you feel look good. good, dog. You look good, man. Yeah. All right. What's going on with you? Um... I'm chilling, bro. Yeah. I'm chilling. I'm happy. I'm I'm in a, a real zen place now. Good, good, good. We seen yeah. your last yeah. fight. 2022. You, know, you, you stepped up. They were, they're real good. I yeah. see, you, see you bobbing away with your hands down and shit. Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think the last fight was good. Um, you, I, felt, you felt good in there? Yeah, I felt I felt good. I, I was still winded, but I think it was just my head. I think it was more so my head than my actual body. Maybe your adrenaline got, got the best of you a little nah, bit? Nah, it, it was, uh, it, I was just thinking in there. Yeah. I was thinking of all the losses. Throughout, while I was fighting first, second round, I was like, all right, don't gas out. And in the second round, I was like, chill, chill. And I just kept talking to myself. I think if I like just, I was in the moment, what I did in the fifth, I could have done in the first. Yeah. So you, so you were in a good headspace in this fight then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Headspace, body wise, everything. I made, I was underweight. Good. I made weight. <laughs> Finally, oh, I, awesome. I, I, I would see him at the weigh ins, boy. Nick was sucked in his eyes. Yeah, I was like, bro, you ain't doing it right. Nah, I did it right this good, time. Good. I did it right this time. Good. And what, what, what's that process like? Like, well, how, how hard or how crucial is that making weight process? I, I think it's everything. I think that's yeah. like the fight before the fight. Yeah. Yeah. It's the fight yeah. before the fight. Yeah, you, I agree. You have stories on how, you yeah, know what I'm saying? I, I tell everybody, I get more nervous to make the weigh in than I do for the fight. Because if you don't make weight, you look like a fool. Yeah. Everybody thinks you're scared. You know what I mean? So once you make the weight, I'm like, this is easy. It's and even the really process, not. the eating and all that. Yeah, yeah. That's a mission, though. It, it is a mission. And, and it depends. Everybody's different. You no, know, everybody got yeah. a different body type. I, but I think you got to find it. Like once yeah. you find it, yeah. I don't. It's a mission until you find it. Once you find it, that's just gliding. I agree. I agree. A lot of people like to do it like in in, in the last couple of days. I don't. I gradually get to the weight. That that's yeah. what I did for all the fights. And obviously, I either made weight or I didn't make weight. Right. Yeah. But and then you busting your ass the day of the, the day weight. before. I don't and like the day, that. Nah, because then your legs are all tired and shit. And you feel and then you you, you really, and yeah. yeah and then you're not in the right yeah. mental space. Either. Nah, you're not, and you don't regain. No, bro. You don't regain. Yeah, I, I what I did differently for this fight is I I waited uh, two weeks prior. And then and then, then I started dropping the weight two weeks before instead yeah. of the night before doing 12, 18 pounds. Right, right. That's just crazy. Yeah. yeah. And and it was night and day. I was a pound under. The the day before, I was maybe a pound over. What I, weight was it? Uh, 59. I, I weighed in 59. It was 60. All right, all right, all right. And shit, chilling. I, I know I could do 55 now. Like, chilling. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. trying to stay at the 155? You was yeah. trying to fight there? Yeah. Right. I think now after after the last fight and I see like you could take it serious and, and weight cut is good. Yeah. Shit, I could go low. I, I think the lowest I'll go is forty five. Yeah. What, what, what do you what, you what do you walk around at? Uh now shit, sixty eight. Right, yeah. Prior to this though. I was walking around 78, 80. Yeah. Dog, look, looking, like, looking like Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> I thought he was going to say 69 because he got the OnlyFans on. I'm like, oh, yeah. We're going to get that. We're going to be one of the conversations today. <laughs> um, yeah, no, but, uh, you know, 
I, I think, I mean, from your body frame, I think you get probably a little lower, but it's yeah. wherever you feel comfortable at. The one fifty five pound uh, division, vision. tough division, yeah, tough division. I got think my, got my boy Bab- Baboon at the top, man. He's a tough yeah. dude. I think all of them are fucking tough to be Absolutely. honest. Absolutely, especially in bare knuckle, dog. Any you catch yeah, anything? Bare knuckle yeah. Is, yeah. is it's a different breed. Like, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you get great, but hey, hey, my brother. Um, you know, don't blink. We like to highlight our guests, man. We like to start from the beginning. You know, we um, we want to know about you from from. Let's talk about born and raised. Let's start there. Yeah, so I was uh, born and raised in Miami Dade. <laughs> All right. Ah, nice hell yeah. Uh, I mean, I started I started off uh, doing music. Um, I, I had a, a really cult fan base growing up as a kid. Hold up, before we get there, because you jumping from born to, to music, you weren't doing music out the womb. Uh, <laughs> where, 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 where'd you grow up in Miami? In, uh, grow up so in Miami? I, I jumped around. Uh, I jumped around um, Kendall to Core Gables to Core Gables to. Back to Kendo, and it was just a, a jumping around situation. Where'd you go to school at, like elementary and all that? Uh, elementary, I went, oh shit, I went everywhere. I went to Claude Pepper, Winston Park, um, fucking, I, my family was not stable at all. We <laughs> jumped around everywhere. Um, high school, I went to Southwest, and okay. then... Yeah, I, I was to- an eagle for a while too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, I jumped around too, but I landed as an eagle for a little while. Yeah, yeah. So I, I went to Southwest, and that was it for me. I, I dropped out when I was in ninth grade. Yeah, yeah. So let me ask you: uh, back in how, how long? How how long does music go back with you? Where, like when you were a little kid, you were already doing some music. Yeah. So at twelve years old, I wrote my first song called "Confessions to a Lost Soul." To a what? To a to a, to a lost soul. Oh, to a lost soul. Yeah, huh? I was 12 years that, old. At 12 years old? So deep. That's deep for a 12 year old. Yeah, why are you oh, deep that deep? I don't know. I was fucking going through it. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. But it, it, it goes back to 12 years old. And then um, I think I've always flirted with the idea of fighting. And and I never really stuck to it. I just I enjoyed it because it was it made me look cool in school, you know, growing up in elementary, middle school. And at the same time, I was good at it, but naturally good at it. I never really worked hard. Right. Yeah. You had a natural talent. Good, yeah. Good yeah. athlete. Yeah. Um. Let me ask you. I remember you. You. Uh. I remember hearing about you at the beginning when the backyard fights were going on. Yeah. You did. You did a little something in the in the warehouse or something. No. Back yeah. Then. Yeah. I did two fights. Um. In in the backyard when when things were illegal and yeah. we and we weren't getting paid so much. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, That's dope. Level Martinez took me under my wing. I think. Uh. I owe a lot to him as a as a as a mentor. You know, um, I, I basically I was in the streets as everybody is in Miami. And, and at 17, I moved out or got kicked out. And then I had to, like, fend for myself. Um, so all I did was street shit. And he caught wind of it. And he basically told me, look, if you want to get out, I got a gym for you. Yeah. You could come here in the morning if you're serious about it. Yeah. Shout out the level, man. You know, I, I trained with him for years when he was doing his thing. Yeah. Um, he's, he's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I remember also, but you you were doing music at the same time too. Yeah, right? you were still yeah. Doing music. I was I was always doing music. I, I music was my first love. Right. My first love yeah. was music. I, I I I ran with it for so long, um, but then again, I never gave it a hundred because I was flirting with the idea of fighting. Right. I never saw fighting as a career, and I never thought it this will be to give me my platform. I never thought it would be this, you know. Yeah. Um, you still doing music? I'm not. No. I I I I I took a, a pause on it. You right. know, just for the I guess for the next two years. You doing full time fighting right now? Yeah. All right. And right quick, I wanted to double back to that music vibe. Did it transition from how it started from when you was 12 years old to when you, you know, were 16, 17, 18? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I like I said, I grew a, a big cult fan base. A lot of people know Fames off of just music in Miami. You know, growing up, I was like the heartthrob of high school. Yeah. The heartthrob of middle school. I was, was dancing. I, and- yeah, funny enough, uh, the, the Diaz brothers, right? Yeah, oh my gosh. So, Lou. Yeah. So, yeah. Lou, so Lou's the first person to sign me. That's my dog, man. Oh, right yeah. dog. Lou signed me, and then we were doing school tours. Oh, shit. And we were sick. <laughs> but dog doing pep rallies and shit. Yeah, no, no, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. That but, was a thing. We were. Keep hundreds going, going. hundreds of kids yeah, you know yeah, and yeah, at yeah. my age i was 16 and i would see that shit i'm like you're a kid too dog yeah you know? i was like i'm doing this yeah, <laughs> i was yeah, like yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. school <laughs> um but i mean dreams turn to reality man I, I wanted the i wanted the lights i wanted the platform and i i did so i just didn't know this was going to be the path to do it yeah you know um so yeah lou diaz took me under my wing i got signed uh i believe when i was 16 years old yeah. 
Um, I was signed for him for two years. And then, you know, music is just up and down. Yeah. Music yeah. is up and down. And yeah. that's that's like anything. I mean, you know, bo- fighting is up and down too, man. You yeah. got you got that you got you might be in the limelight one day and then, yeah. and then they forget about you the next day. I learned you know? that the hard way. Yeah, yeah. At least you learned it early, man. You know what? Uh, uh, talking about your fighting career, well, um, we kind of debuted almost at the same time. About yeah. like six years ago, we were in the Dominican Republic <laughs> fighting together. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, 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 it was it was Dominican Republic. I think my second fight was like your first fight. It was, yeah, it, yeah, was yeah, it was, it yeah, was. Yeah. It was in Dominican Republic, random as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> He was fucking big, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like a rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I saw him. I was like, Yuli. I was, you know, little me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, his, his second fight was my 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 debut fight in in Santo Domingo. Yeah, that's dope. And um, I was supposed to fight a bum, but he hit me with, with overhand right. I still remember that. I, I was like, oh, fuck. yeah. No, the dude you fought was good. Yeah, I remember, he was he was a little yeah. hefty little fucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. But yeah, that was a, that was I, that was the start of me taking it serious right, of right. me of of the doors opening, saying this could be a, a outlet for you. Yeah, I right. remember because you were training a lot of the time. I think you were a moto. Oh, man, right? I was training so much. You were a moto back then, no? Yeah, yeah, you were a moto, and then uh, and then throughout the years, me and you always kept up. You know what yeah. I mean? And then I had the jungle gym. You were out there training with me yeah. for a while. That's when you kind of started stepping it up. Yeah, and. Yeah. Um, I remember you had a, a real good debut for for BKFC. Yeah, that shit was Huge. beautiful. That shit was amazing. Yeah. yeah, that's what got me on the map. Um, it was a seven second knockout. That's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, the dude yeah. with the clown face, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it, was, it was a seven second knockout. I mean, Styles make fights, right? Uh, that guy went with I forgot his name, but um, he's I think four and zero or five and zero in BKFC right now, and he, he buddy didn't take him out to like the third round. Oh shit! Yeah, so. Um, That's right. You flatlined them like in the seven seconds. That's right. I remember. And I never, I never throw crazy haymakers. I threw that shit. And it was perfect. Yeah. But I mean, it was written in stone, bro. I feel like that was definitely meant to happen for me. The doors were open, and then, um, then, then life hits. You, you, it's forced. Was your was was your second fight, Chad Mendes? Or no, you had another. No, fight. No, so I had, I had my. You had sec- that one in four Lauderdale or something, right? Yeah. My, no, it was actually the, the dude that Gogo fought. Nah, so that was a fourth fight. Oh, okay. The second fight was uh I forgot his name. Yeah. Um, it don't matter about his name, but, but yeah, that was yeah, that yeah. was I remember talking to you before and after the fight, you weren't as serious. So you weren't in your, in, you know, you didn't have your mind really put in the game at that time. No, I I don't look. So, uh the first fight, boom, worked out beautifully, right? Um Second fight, second fight. I I thought my skills, like again, I thought my skills could take me as far as I want to go. Right. Um. And I've done that with a lot. I've done, I've done that with life. Period. But you you know, uh, hard work beats Beats. talent when talent don't work hard. (laughs) A hundred percent. Um. My second fight, I believe I won that fight. My second fight. Um, yeah, y'all went the distance, right? The yeah, it, it was it was it was five rounds. I broke this finger, still broken to this day, oh, on the shit. second round, and then, um, bro, stylistically, he was not fucking with me. I didn't have amateur, as you would know. I went straight to pro. Yeah. I went straight. I was from the backyard to pro, so I didn't know the logistics of rules. I, I still uh, now I kind of do, but I still don't know the rule books of points, and I don't know what it means to take a knee. Right. I took like five knees thinking like, oh, I'm going to take a knee. And when we stand up, yeah, I got this. Yeah, but that's, it's counting against you there. Yeah, so I fucking lost that fight over points. I still won that. Anyway. <laughs> uh, my <laughs> third fight was Chad Mendes. Yeah, yeah. We, we both had big fights that night. I fought, yeah. that uh, fight Tiago. Tiago that yeah, yep. I fought Tiago that night. That was, that was serious. Yeah, hell of a fight, yeah. That was serious, man. Uh, my third fight was, was Chad Money Mendes. Yeah, that was a big, big step up, dog. You know, big step up. From from every previous fight you had, that was a huge step up. I think you know? for any fighter, that's a big fight. Yeah, absolutely. And for me, absolutely. knowing that Shit, I just got in yeah. the game, yeah. like, um, it built a lot of a, a, a lot of self confidence. Yeah. It built a lot of self confidence. Uh, he didn't knock me out, so I mean, I got a fucking chin, yeah. and he hit me hard as fuck. <laughs> he threw me like when he hit me, I flew. Um. But that was an amazing fight. That that was a great fight. My head was there, but I had a month. My head was there, you know, but I had a month. To prep. To prep. Yeah. And that shit fucked me up. And then I didn't make weight. Chad Mendes pulled a, a, a veteran move, basically made me make weight the day of the fight. Yeah. few hours. Yeah. 
before the fight, which yeah. So you wanted hats to the off fight to him. Tired. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I, I was. I made weight the day of the fight. That was a that's, that's crazy. a tough one. That's why. That's why you know. That's why you got to come in. You know what I mean? That like like you just said, give it a couple of weeks making weight. You can't do that shit overnight. It's gonna kill you. Oh, that's crazy. Um, and so let me ask you, when the music? Well, let's go back to the music for a minute. When did uh, when did you stop doing that? Um, I think I think uh, it's it, it was it was a tough pill to swallow. It for me to like say you've done this all your life. Yeah. You've dedicated so much time. You you built a core fan base, and now you're letting it go. That shit was super tough for me. You know uh, what made it easier is my best friends Justin Love and yeah. So you're still in the music business a little bit, right? <laughs> like I, I I feel as if I have a cushion, but in order for me to 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 step out of my of my of my chair and say, all right, you're gonna have to give this up if you want this. I think it took. Like serious shit, like me not even wanting to even write a song. Like I, I, you, I hear a beat, yeah. and I don't even want to. I don't even want to spit on that shit no more because it's like, I feel like I, 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 I fucked up. Like you know, like <laughs> I almost had you. What, um, is it, what is it like a sense of like uh, not embarrassment, but like 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 damn, like you know, like you, like you kind of want to go back to it, but you feel like regret, like regret, almost? like regret. I guess yeah. I, I wouldn't say regret. It's more so of. Uh, um, I don't know, but like, what part what the, though? The word what, what, what part of of doing music is is what got you feeling that way? Like, what part of it? I mean, I, I mean, starting music, um, building what I needed to build, and and building my name that that was everything to me. And knowing that I could I could touch people and touch kids at the same time, and people my age don't say touch kids, though. Facts. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, with his music, right? No, with my words. With words. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I think. Uh, so stopping that is what, what has that feeling for you. Yeah, it, it it messed me up in my head. It messed me up in my head. It, it's it's a, it's a, it's like a bittersweet thing to, to to let go. It's like I may be back, I may not, and and to to have to understand like that was a chapter of your life, and it was a huge chapter, but you got to let go in order to grow. That's what. No, that's and, crazy. I mean, I mean, and what's not to say that you could circle back and kind of do both, dog? You know what I mean? Yeah. So when I started off, and when I signed the BKFC contract, it was a five fight deal. And when I started off, I, I made a video. I still have the video. I said, "I'm doing this to build my platform. When I'm done building my platform, I'm going to fall back into music." That's it. That's it. And, but, and, and then you'll grab fans that weren't even your music fans, you know? A hundred percent. But now I'm falling in love with fucking fighting. Yeah. Like, Loco, like, gonna, I, like I was you, with music. I'm going to give you one little thing. Why don't you make your intro? Oh, that's a good idea. <sighs> it is a good idea. I Come just, on, bro. I, like, I yo, you guys can fucking flip your intro, B? I just think it's a little corny. What? <laughs> what BKFC could, fighter can do their intro and shit? Nobody. I just still think it's corny. That's it's another like wearing unique, my own shirt. Nah, you wild. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I mean. Nah, oh, yeah, that's hey, a good okay. idea, but. No, hey, okay, okay, okay. Hey, All right, I'll do a record with you. You know what? I'm going to yeah, go back real quick. Something go. we said. We got uh, uh, keep Justin, dream alive, bro. Justin Love is in a building right yes, now. Sir. Yeah, JT in a building, he's baby. About, he's about to knuckle up soon, too. Uh-huh. Uh, we going we to have him back on. We're going to get to that. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have to have him back on. We had him on as as an artist. Now we're going to have him back Back, back as a fighter, fighter. yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, yo, but yo, you got to keep the dream alive, though, bro. There's there's ways, and um, and we can do it. You know what I'm saying? We can do it. We yeah. can definitely find something that can start somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, then, I mean, mean, look, Justin tells me all the time, like, yo, write a song. Random as fuck. I'm like, wait, what did you say? Like when I hear that, I'm like, I look, I look to my right. I'm like, a song. <laughs> 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 it's been so long. You yeah. feel me? Like, no, mu feel music was the love of my life, yeah. and for me to understand that I got to put you on hold in order to do what I got to do to bring shed light into my future, bro, it was a big deal. It was yeah, yeah, a big yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah. I think I moved very quick in this fighting world. Yeah, and you know what, man? Um, I know you've been making some good money in the fighting world. Oh, Not yes. only with money, but with sponsorships and stuff. Yeah. So that kind of makes everything else take a halt too. If you ain't making money with, yeah, it, you know uh, I mean? a thousand percent, yeah, so. a thousand percent. Uh, I hold mean, up, I'm, though. Look I'm, at it. Look, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. I wouldn't call it a sponsorship. I call it a partnership. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I want to take a second to do a commercial break right here. But, but what's up? <laughs> what, what you? What we got? What, what yeah. we do? What we flipping with OnlyFans? What is that? Yeah, man. OnlyFans. They they signed me. Um, Boxing naked and shit, or what? What you got? Nah, <laughs> 
<laughs> nah, we ain't boxing naked, but you got to subscribe to see, you feel me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. It's uh, OnlyFans. I, I, I was, I was, I was, I knew about OnlyFans for a while. You right, know, I, right. I managed a couple of girls. Um, I made a couple of dollars, but now it, as a partnership, um, it just like, like, you know, you're a fighter. It's just the leverage of, of wanting to, to train just, just to have these partnerships to say like, holy shit, like I could, I could breathe now after my fight. I don't got to use the money that I fought with in order to pay my bills or I use the money I fought with to pay my bills. And now I could chill because of the sponsorships. Yeah, it gives yeah. you some cushion. Gives you a lot of cushion if you you know how to save money or whatever. Hey, yeah, yeah, money management is a big thing, especially huge. for every athlete yeah, and huge. all of that stuff is is a big deal. I think it's a it's a big deal for for athletes or BKFC fighters, bare knuckle fighters to understand that this shit's a business. Yeah, bare knuckle more than anything because bare knuckle you ain't gonna have too long of a career. Dog. Oh. You know what I mean? This shit, this shit. Even if you're, I mean, even if you're the best, dog. You know, once you get to like. Your hands could only take so much too. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Until she starts getting fragile, and like, oh well, I broke something. Again. Yeah. All right. So be- before we break this conversation, right quick, back to OnlyFans. You just for your <laughs> fights, they create content, they put it on there, and your fans can go on there and watch the exclusive shit. I create content. I put it on there. They just pay me, break me off every month to wear their their logo. Nice. Boom! I like yeah. that. But I'm 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 in creative control with what I want to do with OnlyFans, which I awesome. love. Um, I just do the deliverables in the sense of posting their stuff X amount of times, and um, they take care of me every month. That's dope. Yeah, super. I hell love hell them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to OnlyFans. Yes. Hell yeah. We're gonna. So have now to... when you're working out and you're going through your process, you're filming stuff to put it on there. To, right. You know what I mean? Right. I'm filming a lot of things. Yeah. We. <laughs> a lot of things. We got no bueno. We got no bueno in here. Hey, hey. Um, I want to say something for everybody watching right now too. I don't know if y'all noticed, but he got a little dog on his lap. Yes, oh, he's sleeping. He's sleeping. Hey, oh. The little no, no, dog. We gotta wake him up. We gotta wake that him little up. dog also has an OnlyFans page. It's called El Perrito. <laughs> El Perrito. Nah. No, so look, El Perrito. Perrito. My Spanish is bad, by the way. Uh, we, yeah. we, we just Super heard that. Yeah, but what's your what's your nationality? Like Latin nationality? I'm Cuban and Peruvian. Oh, and yeah. Peruvian. Yeah, yo entiendo español, pero no puedo hablar. Oh, yo, that's a hook right there. <laughs> that was a good one, right? That's a hook right I there. I say that shit perfect because I've said it all my life. Say it again, say it again, say it again. Yo entiendo español, pero no puedo hablar. Yo entiendo español, pero no puedo hablar. Yo, that's... Yo, so look, uh, back to sponsorships and businesses. Yes. Um, this puppy is, comes from my my own company. It's called Merle Haven. Hey. Um, I sell everything. You're breeding dogs? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, I saw everything from from dachshunds to bullies to Frenchies. Um, so if anybody watching this needs anything, come holla at your boy. Yeah. What's Say the it. name of it? Say it again. Lincoln Merle Bio. Haven. Merle Haven. Merle Haven. Merle Haven. Damn. Lincoln Bio. And that's a pretty cool dog right there. This he's is chilling. Super cool dog. He's, he's vibing. Yeah. These these dogs are worth anywhere from five to eight bands in a puppy puppy shop. You come to me, they're on the low low. Oh man, we get a little cheaper. That's that. beautiful. And that's quality, man. No, that's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. What? What's yeah. the dog's name, man? We gotta uh, name him Scooby. You, you gotta name him. <laughs> that's Scooby. You gotta name him. Yeah, facts. <laughs> oh yeah, and um, um, so so what's going on right yeah. now? What's Yo, going monster. on right now? In present moment with 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 you with your career? What you got going on? <laughs> so you, you training every day? Oh, he about to knock somebody out real soon. Right yeah. Now. So I mean, I just fought. Right. right. I just fought uh, three weeks ago. Yeah, December third. Um, we, we were there. December third. Uh I think that was a great, great fight for me in the sense of those five rounds I needed not really more so to like build confidence. It was uh, I, I learned new things with that fight, like the opponent. I could have ran through him, but I'm happy I did not I'm happy I stayed patient. I'm happy I waited. I'm happy I pushed when I needed to push. My gas was was again. It was all in my head. But um, blocking, I fucking blocked like a ninja. <laughs> that whole fight, that whole I, like usually as a fighter, how I am, I, I I I hit and I and I get the fuck out. I hit and I get the fuck out. I was hitting, countering, and hitting, hitting, countering, hitting. Yeah. I've never really like checked somebody like that. Yeah, and and doing that, I'm like, all right, cool. I can stay in the paint and not be so worried about anything. Yeah, and I see you uh you you got with Slaughterhouse Boxing. They've been helping you out a lot. Yeah, uh Ryan is is amazing. The, the Shout co- out to Ryan, man. Yeah. Ryan's the, home. Yeah, the coach yeah. out there, Ryan. He's a, he's absolutely amazing and um everybody there is amazing, bro. Everybody, Brian, uh 
Jared, Howard, yeah. every everyone there. Shout out to Gallo, too. Yeah, Gallo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah shout out yeah. to Gallo. Everyone there's trying to amazing, go for that three bro. second knockout. The, as a team, as a whole, <laughs> as a whole, pff, that's that that spot is great. Absolutely, we've seen him. You know, we've seen him come up. I was there for Jared's first fight. And he was the first fighter out of Slaughterhouse. You know, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That that development over there is beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely, man. So, I uh, but wait, I thought I saw you on a flyer recently for January fourteenth too, right? Yeah. You, so you... January fourteenth, I fight okay. again. Okay, I'll be out there. I'm the I'm the commentator. For I, the heard, I heard. I heard. Yeah. <laughs> I heard. Uh, January fourteenth, uh, I'm fighting uh, Jacobs. Uh, it's his last name. Um, I, I really don't know too much about him. So right now you, you're staying down on weight. You're set up. We are 168. You fighting at 155. I'm fighting at 168. Oh, you're gonna stay. That's what the this uh, fight is. At? Yeah, the fights at 168. That's what that's what the guy requested. Oh, so you can eat something for 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 Christmas now. You Bro, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm I'm very happy with my weight right now. Um, I'm gonna push the cardio uh, starting you know Monday All right. up up into the fight, but realistically. I'm just going to run through him. I I usually, in my head, I was telling uh, my friends, like, I usually quietly predict what rounds am I going to have, whether it's five five rounds, two rounds, that first round knockout. Like, I usually know, I have, like, a gut instinct as to, like, all right, this is going to be a long one or this is going to be a quick one or... And I'm usually right all the time. I try okay. to make them all on the first, man. I'm trying to get out of there. Let me get that <laughs> trying to get that paycheck and go home and eat pizza. Yeah, let me get that fight of the night. Yeah. Well, I, this... I think the dude you're fighting, I was at the trials the other day. Yeah, yeah. I went, yeah. I went to spar with a couple of dudes. Uh, I, think I, the, I think the dude was at the trials, right? He was, he, he was. Tall, he was. slim dude? Is yeah, 6'4". Yeah, 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 yeah. I seen him. I'm going to drop him. Yeah, yeah. You're going to make, you, you make him 5'2". Yeah, facts. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to drop him. But... Crazy enough, and that's why shit. That's why I love uh, bare knuckle. It's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I really want to do. My first round, no, there's, there's, it's not, it's not, B, it's not BKFC lights. It's not that's the pressure of. Uh, I'm gonna do what I want to do the first round, and and I might build that confidence to. You might see a different fames coming in all my fights now because of that first round of this new fight. Yeah, I might come. I might not be so safe anymore. Yeah. I saw you. You switched up your stance. You've been doing. You, you fought almost all southpaw this last fight. Yeah. Well, reason being, and 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 the your hand. Yeah. The, <laughs> the, the 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 secret is out. Um, <laughs> I broke my finger. I broke my, all my fights. I fought with a broken finger. Oh shit! The only reason I continue to fight with that is because my, after my second fight, when I broke it, I, I had. A you ever had no surgery, no cast, nothing. No, I had a cast on a little baby cast on. <laughs> But I had a finger condom. <laughs> but I, I, I got a call saying you want to fight Chad Mendes. Yeah, you got to. You got to take that I was call. Like, yeah, yeah. All right. How am I going to do this? If anyone noticed, I never threw my left hand. I'm not a southpaw at all. Right. I'm not a southpaw at all. So <laughs> I, I I I didn't throw my left hand because of my finger. I was I was I was unsure if I remember when we used to train together. You used to always switch stances. You know yeah, I, mean? I always yeah, switch. Yeah. Uh, but to stay southpaw, I was never confident enough. Chad made me stay southpaw, and then ever since then, I fell in love with the with, with southpaw. I fell in love with it, and then my my after Chad Mendez, I still didn't throw my 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 left hand. This fight, I finally threw it, and it fucking connected nice. nice. Yeah, there you go. I was just like, all right, all right bitch. So, <laughs> so I fight, and I fight like that. Oh, <laughs> I can't clinch my fist. No shit. Yeah, being you better tape that bitch up. Yeah. Tape, your, tape your knuckle shut. I, I fight like that. <laughs> Boom. Fuck yeah. All right, so January 14th, we could expect uh, uh, the fames to come out there and fight dangerously. Yeah. Remember, it's bare knuckle. Don't, I mean, I, and I'm telling you as somebody that, yeah. that, that you know, that you my dog, You, you feel, I feel like you're a little brother to me. Um, you know, do your thing, but but be smart, man. You know, because they could throw a, a grazing punch, and if that shit hits the right spot, you'll get cut. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and it, no, it just not. takes you out from the big money. I'm going to let Gaio... Do all the straight forward train wreck <laughs> shit. All right, that's his style. I'll, I'm gonna leave that to my man. Uh, I'm a. I, I'm more of a. When I say first round, you're a little calculated. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm calculated. Um, I'm gonna make a miss, make them pay, but that pay is gonna be legit. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hold the, back from that. A little slip and rip. Yeah. Whoop. Uh, that, Man, that, that, that sounded like a beat right there too. Slip and rip. Whoop, pow, yeah, yeah. slip and rip. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> my boy Tuna is still on that music too, boy. He's still on that music too. Hey, that dream's alive. Nah, right. That's so, where I'm at. So, so bueno, hopefully we got a, uh, I mean, we, we'll have a Fames uh, uh, mixtape drop in summer 2024. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's a good time. Like that. That's a good time. I'll be chilling by then. Uh, uh, yeah, hey, yeah, watch. This shit's gonna switch around. Justin Love gonna start fighting. Fame's going back to music. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Yo, you know what's uh, funny? He, he, said, he got all the placements and nah, all that. He's like, Yo, that. put my man. You know, yeah, that. Justin needs to wrestle. You know what's yeah. up? Like, dump people on their haircuts. Yo, <laughs> he says this is his only fight, right? Uh-uh. Nah, uh, I don't see once you get that, once you get that uh, bug, bro. This and, is... and, and especially if you land one of those good solid and, and it was buddy quick. go to sleep, yeah, yeah. you gonna want another one uh, quick. Yeah, man, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, I man, can't wait awesome. for that night. Uh, yeah, that's oh, yeah. awesome. Oh uh, yeah, wait, you, you gonna get in that ring too soon? Nah, then nah, we gonna keep it with music, right? You know what I'm saying? I have <laughs> hey, music. Let me fashion. fight. Let me fight you. Do the music. You feel me? We got a good little combination yeah. right here. I wouldn't advise bare knuckle to nobody, man. That's a different world. Even and that's why I say my last fight with the blocking. Like, I, 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 I like figured it out. I feel like we always hit switches. I figured it out. I was like, oh shit, I got you now. But you know what's you know, funny about bare, bare knuckle? Even if you don't get hit, but you blocking the next day, all this shit's hurting. Yeah, facts. <laughs> uh, my whole shit, my, my wrist right now hurts. But it's because I was, yeah. and that shit went, dunk, yeah. over and over again. That shit don't play. That's a, hey, that one too. Boop, dunk, uh. boop. Hey, that's some Neptune <laughs> shit right there. That's some Neptune oh, shit hey. right there. Hey, my brother, man, I got a question for you. Mm. We've asked every guest on the show. You are guest 105, dog. We've been on here for two years doing this. Um, that's crazy. Yeah, dog. Beautiful. I mean, it sucked long enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, it was, it was listen, listen, great, listen, man. It was, a, it, was a, you, it was a super dope you're, journey. You're guest one of year two, baby. Oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. You said it all. Hell yeah. Oh, hey, uh, do you believe in aliens? Yeah. All right, Man, tell us why. I mean, I thought I saw one. Yeah? I thought I saw We're, a few, well, to be honest. Walking out of close space? Nah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, oh, man, this is a story. So, to make it quick, um, I was I was, I was, was a bad kid in school. Um, I did some, some shit, and, and I had the alternative to either go to juvenile or something called outward bound. Yeah, I know we're bound. Yeah? Yeah. That's crazy. A lot of people don't know about it, but you're bad. That's some like secret yeah. society I, shit. I was a juvenile delinquent myself. Yeah, so. <laughs> so. I went to juvenile detention. <laughs> nah, nigga. I was like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I went, I went, obviously I chose Outward Bound, but in Outward Bound, this is a fucked up situation. In Outward Bound, they get a whole bunch of delinquents that uh, couldn't fit right in school, and you're in middle school or high school. I was in middle school at the time in eighth grade. And you're 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 with two uh what's it called? Um supervisors. You're with two supervisors and now you're forced to be in a canoe, you're forced to follow each other, and now you have to go across the Gulf of Mexico for two weeks. In a canoe what? in a canoe. <laughs> this is the punishment. That you have in outward bound. They still have outward bound to this day. It's in the keys. And they take a whole bunch of delinquents, put them all together in a canoe and basically say, fend for yourselves for the next two weeks. What it does is teaches you responsibility and teaches you how to work together. And then when you come back to civilization, you're a new kid. That's wild, though. That's like some, that's like some brainwash shit right yeah, there. That's yeah, some what the what the shit right there. Wild. Hey, let me tell you, he, I bet you he never got in trouble after that. Let's see, let's nah, see. Nah, he nah, dropped nah. out of school. He so, said, fuck this shit. He, he went back. He <laughs> said, fuck yeah. that. I'm not worried about that. Yo, so I, I, I did that. And uh, I got a, uh, I got a, a, a medal because uh, one, of the, one of the girls couldn't swim. And it was, bro, we're in the Gulf of, Gulf of Mexico. There's no lights. There's no nothing. There's two adults and a whole bunch of fucking kids that want to. How old are you? How old are you? I was like 15. Damn! All right, go go go. It, it was it was a fucked up situation, and we're there and we're paddling, like we're really paddling, like one people in a kayak, two people in a kayak, two, pe two people, one in the front, one in the back. But no. if, if the one in the front doesn't work and the one in the back doesn't yeah, work, yeah, you get doubled. You got to do right, double dip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the song right there. You got to double Yo. dip. What you got to do? You got to double dip. I said, what you got to do? You got to double dip. Go 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 go. So uh, mad people will be like, oh fuck you, I'm not paddling, I'm tired. But it'll fuck up the whole the whole crew. Like fuck up the rhythm. And these are like fucking kids that are in gangs and like kids that just don't give a fuck. So it's like a fight on the canoe. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a sucky situation. I went with a girl that didn't know how to swim. She didn't tell anybody she didn't know how to swim. But it was like it was like one o'clock in the morning. We we're paddling. There was fucking waves, huge ass waves. And we're trying to get 
away from the mangroves because the mangroves would fucking eat you up. But, bro, it's the scariest thing ever. Like, you're in pitch dark and the, the, the stars are, like, right there. Yeah. Um, and she starts panicking. The, the kayak flips. We're in the middle of the ocean. Dark as fuck. I'm scared as fuck. And she's drowning. I don't know. She's drowning. She's just panicking. I'm like, bitch, get on top of me. <laughs> she gets on top of me. She starts making he's me trying drown. Slick. The bitch, she's trying. The girl's dying. He's trying to get her on top of me. <laughs> yeah, go, Yo, babe. She, she's making me drown. I'm a fucking jitterbug, bro. <laughs> oh my god. So, so whatever. I fucking hold on to the man girls. I hold on to her, and, and we just stay there chilling until basically like 40 minutes because they had to they had to paddle uh, uh, towards current. So it was a fucked up survival yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. I got a medal because I saved her. Yeah. yeah. Man, that's what's yeah. up, bro. I saved Damn. her life. I don't know who she is anymore. But <laughs> Damn, how many times life. you told that story? No, no, but hold up, hold up, hold times. up. Hold up, though. The aliens, when, when, aliens, when is the alien aliens. coming to play? So hold uh. up. <laughs> Right. I will see aliens too if I'm in the middle of nowhere hanging off a canoe with nah, a saving bruh, somebody else nah, and drowning so, me. So I, I took a picture. I have a, 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 at the time, like the CVS. Uh, yeah, yeah. Them, uh, them, yeah. yeah. Disposable so, cameras. So, yeah, disposable cameras. Dispo- <laughs> that's the only thing they let us take. Yeah. So I'm there. We, we hit an island, right? We hit an island that we're supposed to stay at and think of our thoughts and it's just stupid shit. Um, but I didn't think of my thoughts. I said, fuck the whole crew. And I started walking away and I, I waited till the supervisors weren't supervising. And <laughs> I went all the way to the back of the island, just trying to like look for shit. You know, I'm fucking, it's cool. I'm in the island. And all of a sudden, bro, I see like a black dot in the fucking air. The black dot disperse into like four four dots in the air i get my camera i take a picture and i already believe in aliens like at that time i was super into aliens and i run back and i'm like bro there's fucking aliens i tell it to the supervisors and they didn't believe me i got in trouble i couldn't like, see this high as fuck <laughs> yeah i couldn't i i couldn't see the aliens anymore because they didn't want me to go back there you still got that picture hold up ah <laughs> so uh i kept the picture right i i couldn't see it because it was on the little thing and then you can find that on my only fans page subscribe right now <laughs> <laughs> Shameless so, plug. so i went i went to cvs when i got out of there i went to cvs and all the pictures came out distorted damn and i went with my stepdad all the pictures came out distorted like our our normal pictures like uh person to person normal but all the pictures i took of the alien all distorted damn Fuck. How many times you said that story? <laughs> not a lot. I don't, not a lot of people ask me about aliens. All right. Hey, hey, it sounded no. legit. It sounded legit. Yeah, no, because bro back there shaking his head like he know about the story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Yo, I hey, know. what, what was the real truth? <laughs> the alien came down and sucked the nigga up. He came back with purple words in. He's like, nah, man, nah, I was nah, there. Shit. I was there. I ain't see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was the nigga in one of the canoes not wanting to paddle. Hey. hey. <laughs> no, nah, it was, a, that was, was a, a demon. Demon time. Oh, demons. <laughs> nah, that was a straight alien, bro. Hey, what you mean, demons? Eh? Hey, listen, man. Well, another thing we've been asking everybody on the show. Not as long as the alien question, but nah, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I don't. I don't care. Yo, Yuli, I don't care. Uh, he got here. I'm uh, not doing. He it. got here before the first you. First thing right? I ask <laughs> is why the Yo, fuck Yuli, is there a one nah, nah, chip nah, challenge? We're just waiting for that one person to take it, dog, bro. But that, it wasn't that I'm funny sure. when it happened. Look, he was. We we they walked in right. They walked in right. <clears throat> boom, they walk in. Yo, what's up? Boom, boom, boom. He sits down. Everything is almost like quiet, right? And he looks at it. and He's like, "Why is there a one chip challenge here?" <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was set up just for me. I'm like, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, nah. yeah, yeah. We've been trying to get something to take it. I know the day they take that chip is the day they won't cancel Don't Blink Podcast. Damn. <laughs> I can't do that, bro. Hey. I can't. Oh, man. Nah, it's all right. It's nah, all right. You should, you should pay somebody, though. Like, uh, how much do you think we should pay somebody? I'll do it. I'll do it for 100. 100? 100. Right now? Right now, I'll do it for a hundred. Ah, right, man, I don't, I don't even want you to do it, man. Put that shit down. <laughs> I mean, I'll do it. Man. I'm just like, <laughs> it's gonna cost you a couple hundred. Look at look at look, look at look at look at <laughs> Yo, eight. Hey, have you tried it? <laughs> but you gonna you gonna owe him sixty? Facts. Like, oh. no, we could sell. We could sell that. We could sell that. You know what I'm saying? We could eight max that. No, I'm just Yo, oh, just, oh, look, he's gonna do nah, it for a hundo. He, nah, he's not doing it. He's recording. I'll sell you. I'll sell you one hundo right he's now. Good friend, right now. Nah, you don't understand. Huh? You want the views? Uh, that shit is crazy. If I got this milk, is insane. You, do it? you seen? You seen? You seen anybody do it? What? That's what like, bro, I did it. Down. 
No, you nah, didn't. Nah, nah, nah. We cannot I, give Eddie chips. I, you did the chip. Okay, I did the chip. Okay. Justin did the chip. No. We tried to do the we chips. Yo, Ed, you gonna do the chip? Is it terrible? You got milk. Yo, you got milk? <laughs> I need mean, a gallon of milk. Nah, that shit don't work. Yes. Do. Nah, he don't understand. Nah, nah, but we could get it. We could Uber it. Could we Uber it? We could definitely Uber it. Could and we if Uber you, some if milk? If you really want some crazy... Uh, yo, have you, has, has anyone done this? Nah. Nah. I don't you do it. I fuck, no. I can't. I don't even fuck with the Tabasco sauce, nigga. All right. <laughs> nah, put it back. It's all yeah, good. Yeah. Hey, so listen. So what's what's up? So so on the on the calendar next is January 14th. You're getting ready for that? <sighs> yeah, January 14th. That's that's where my head is at. January 14th. I plan to uh, uh, really put on a show. Um, I think the fans deserve it. You know, they they deserve me to to stunt how I usually stunt in the end of my performances of all my fights. Um, just the beginning, and I, I, I owe it to myself just to, to show myself, like, yo, like you're you're tripping. You could do what you want to do and how you want to do it. Um, just stop worrying about like the whole gas situation when it comes to cardio or whatever. Um, but five, I, five two minute rounds, bro. Five two minute rounds. Hey, when I when I went my first five two minute rounds, I was like, this shit's a breeze. Yeah. It's really fucking. It's it's night and day like that is not I could do that again, you know, um, but my head is there. My head is there. I don't know uh, what the plans are afterwards. Um, I'm in discussions with uh, I'm in discussions with a lot of things going on. I'm in discussion with going to Russia as well. Nice. Um, doing a doing a bare knuckle fight over there. They're they're in the talks of that. I'm, I'm currently a free agent, so I could work with any company that I want to. Um, I just. Uh, finish my contract with BKFC. Not saying that I I'm not fighting for BKFC, but whenever they're in Florida, right? But you got other options now. You could do other things. Yeah, you yeah, can explore man. a little bit. Yeah. So, all right. And um, super happy about that. Something we like to do on the show too is, man, uh, you got a young fames watching you right <clears> now. <throat> you know what 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 gem can we drop on them, man? You know, um, what positive message can we send out there? If uh if 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 I were to talk to myself and. And I was watching myself as a kid. Um, I think I think keeping it simple is simple. I mean, <laughs> just keep it simple. Like, uh, don't think too much. Don't 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 think too much. Don't you overthink. Know? Don't don't overthink. And um, just make sure that you breathe. Make sure you breathe through the process. A lot of people don't don't understand how how important it is to breathe. And as a child and not knowing, uh, not knowing where you fit in, you know, growing up and, and, and not knowing where you fit in, I think it's important to breathe and just relax. And if anybody is listening to this, I think just, just breathe, bro. It's going to be straight. Um, we always, we always give ourselves a time limit as to when we need to reach something. And that's, that's just limiting ourselves. Right. Just breathe and, and be in the moment. Breathe and be in the moment. If I could say anything to anybody, just breathe and be in the moment. That's a gem. That's a Boom. Gem. Dropping gems wow. right there. Fame's right there. Yes, breathe sir. and yeah, be man. in the moment. Yeah, that's my purpose. That's like I, I say it in every interview. I say it in every podcast, everything that I'm, I'm, I am I represent. Um, any chance that I get when there's cameras in front of me, that's my whole purpose. I, I make sure that the little me is proud. Yeah. That that's that's really what motivates me. Like it's it's nothing in, in in the future that motivates me. It's nothing that in the now that motivates me. I just want to make sure that that little boy is proud. That's dope. That's dope, man. Keep him proud. You making him proud, dog. We proud of you here and don't blink podcast. Oh, yeah. My little bro, yeah. keep going. You know anything you need from us, dog. We we're here to to, to support you and help you out. Thousand percent. Oh yeah, we're uh, building, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Keep going. We really we really love what you're doing, man. Yeah, this year's this year's gonna be a good year. I I I, I man, it's time to get just on. Watch. A, just watch. Just watch. <laughs> it's time to get on on a winning streak. Uh, don't blink. Uh, uh, and, and and I'm here, man. I'm here. I'm I'm really here. I'm really here. The man that I became um is is settling in, and and I'm ready to to put on a statement when it comes to the combat world. Bada bing, bada boom, Sir. baby. Let's do it. L- like let that. everybody know where they can find you at. You can find me at Only Fames, not Only Fans, but Only Fames. But they can find you Only Fans too. Facts. You can find me Only Fans <laughs> too. But uh, doing some things. We ain't even gonna talk about that. That's the don't blink. Yeah, after yeah, hour. Subscribe. You guys gotta have an after hour. What were we doing? I don't know. After hour shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yo, so you can find me at OnlyFames on all social media platforms. That's TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. OnlyFames 1Z? Because you, uh, you do the, the 4Z thing. Yeah, because this is the new one, too. This is the brand no, new six-month-old relationship. I, I follow IG at least right 10 here. of Fames' Instagrams, bro. Yeah. If, if you just type in... as a, Look, this will make everything simple. If you type in Fames on any search bar... I'm what the a, first one. What is Z at the end? Yeah, yeah. I'm the first one. Uh, you, you type in Fames, F-A-M-E-Z. I'm the first one there. Let's go. Easy. And, and that's Let's it. Go. Easy. The, the Heartbreak Kid, y'all. The Heartbreak Kid. Aye, 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 aye. Thank Damn. you so much, my brother. Did, did you ever on. do a song called The Heartbreak Kid? No, I didn't. They they just named me that shit. Yeah. Damn. So, that, damn. That's, uh, that mixtape dropping summer 2023. Stay tuned, man. Aye, aye, Don't aye, blink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, aye, thank aye. you, everybody, for watching. 7.30 p.m. every Tuesday. You catch us on Don't Blink Podcast. Let's go. If you're watching this now, I hope y'all had a Merry Christmas. Hell yeah. Happy New Year's coming up. Yeah. Uh, I hope you get all your blessings, everything you ask for, and if everything want, you pray for. And if y'all want to send us some gifts, the the, the P.O. box is yeah, in the description. Hit, yeah, yeah. Hello. Hit, hit the link. Holla at me. Send hit me the link. some medium. Fames, dog. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. January 14th, I'll be there January commentating. 14th. Yes. I'll be there commentating. Justin Love will be there walking himself out, singing, busting, <laughs> busting dudes' heads. <laughs> uh, fans will be, be knocking people's teeth, yeah. the front teeth to the back row. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have an after party and it's going to be wild. I don't I don't know the details yet. You got to follow me for that. That's Hell cool. Yeah. I'll, be, I'll be commentating on that too. <laughs> and I'll be performing. Hey, Don't Blame Podcast, me, the kid. Yes. Justin Fames. I mean, Justin Fames. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Justin See? Love, that, yeah, that could <laughs> be his, that could <laughs> be his <laughs> rap name. Only Fames in the building. <laughs> Only fans. <laughs> Love y'all. Thank you. We out. Bow. You know, I think me and Two Nights got something great going on. We got some great guests coming up. It's going to be dope. We got some dope people that, that already you know signed up to do it with us, which is great. A lot of people show us love, and uh, it's because we love them back for sure.